welcome back to Gunner's yeah, Fire. Yeah, absolutely, Maggie. Good to see you. <laughs> great to see you, Mark. Yeah, How in the well. heck have you been? I've been great. Great, great. Doing great. Glad yeah. to hear it. <laughs> I hear you've had some pretty cool changes and... Lots of changes in life. Most health and stuff. Yeah. And you are now probably more lethal <laughs> without a firearm. <laughs> no, no, no. no. No, no, but I, I could last a little longer as far as my health goes. And uh, that's if awesome. I was in a tumble, yeah, <laughs> doing better. That's yeah, pretty. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You know how to do a <laughs> somersault and still get up without injuring yourself. Yeah, yeah. Well, and physically, my like my knees are better. My everything's better. Neck's better. Back's better. That's, everything feels better. That's like, even everything better. Everything feels better. And I thought it would make it worse, but it actually everything feels better. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's been going on here? But yeah, it's been pretty slow as far as things go around here. Well, uh, you know, but that's, I mean, is that normal? That's kind of normal around spring or is this? Not usually. Not, it, so it's a, it's un, a little bit unusually slow. Yeah, it, you, the slow season tends to start a little later when summer mm. kicks in mm. and income taxes are coming back. So yeah. Well, and then it picks back up in the fall. Yeah, kind of thing. yeah. hunting season yeah. starts it back up again. It's a normal it kicks trend. Off. So this is early. This is early. It is a little early. Um, and Brian was saying he thinks it's like people just aren't really worried. Uh, do you kind of sense that, or do you like what they say when they come in? They come in and I am worried about this. I am worried about losing my firearms. I need to buy this before I can no longer purchase this. But they don't ever pull the trigger. So to say. <laughs> so to say. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it doesn't happen. Yeah. yeah we yeah. we hear about it, but then it's like, so were you ever going to? No, I had some other things come up. I don't. I think a lot of times there's generally when people are preparing or whatever you want to call it, prepping, and their the firearm then gets included into that thing. I think a lot of times people shop like in their head. They're like, oh, I'm, I'm going to do this thing someday. <laughs> Uh, is it like that? Is that kind of what it is like lately? Or? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I can admit to being bad about that. It's Me like, too. I need sure. to order something. <laughs> like if I need to order something personally uh -huh. for myself, my house, my vehicles or whatever, and it's not like an immediate necessary item, like it's a something that could go on a wish list. It's a, it's not a need. It's a mm -hmm. want. Um, and so I will go shopping for my wants and I will leave them in the cart and set them aside and come back to them. If mm -hmm. that site still exists, if that cart still exists, sometimes years down the road, um, and maybe I might purchase, maybe I might not. So I'm wondering if this is what we've been seeing and something like a pandemic, a global pandemic, is something that would push people to bump those wants into the need category. Sure. Well, and I was even thinking that I think a lot of people, because of the more recent events that we've had, that people did do that thing. Yeah. So I wonder if now people, you know, you kind of have this normal trend that's normal, but nothing's really been normal. Uh, lately, there's, there's no, it's been no more normal lately, I guess, than it has been over the last couple of years. But read through history, there's nothing normal, no, nothing ever is normal. No, there is um, no normal. But they kind of are like, Well, I already have this piece of my prepping thing, so now I'm not necessarily out, or maybe they're looking for other things. I don't know, I guess, I don't know. What are you guys looking for? What's everybody looking tell, for? Tell me yeah. what you... Yeah, maybe boats, RVs, who knows? That That who is knows? this time of the year. That's it when it's the, the gun buyback program starts when summer vacation pro, uh, starts because everybody is like, wow, I got this thing for Christmas. I bought this with my income tax money, but rather go to the lake with the family, have a new ski do or whatever the uh -huh. heck it is a new a new boat let's new fishing equipment something mm -hmm. so all of the income just gets switched from one hobby to another sure i can see that, I can so, see that. yeah just dump but just particularly early this year particularly yeah. early yeah all right and like i've heard from customers that go shopping through a, a large area like i mean this is Kansas City. You can probably find 20 gun stores. 
including the multiple chains and the pawn shops and everything within a very mm -hmm. small radius. So you find a lot of stuff at different places and they're like, they had a whole bunch of these over here, and a whole bunch of this over there. So stuff's being sold back to the secondhand mm -hmm. market, like weird places, pockets of things in strange locations that might you might not expect to find it. So if you're gonna go shopping, start looking. Now's the time. <laughs> Now's the time. Might as well. Yeah. Well, Maggie, gosh, thank you so much. Um, I always appreciate your time and, well, and it's all good stuff. Appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. Welcome to the welcome Brian to Gunner's an awesome cousin who has <laughs> all the information as he disappears off the camera. <laughs> it's a magic trick. It is. <laughs> awesome, Maggie. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll just keep on talking about this. You're welcome, Mark. Right. It was great to see you. We'll All see right. you next time. Bye, bye, -bye. everybody.